Has COVID-19 got you worried about your application? Keep watching. Hey Pod Squad, I'm Diksha. So the first thing that we need to talk about is what everyone has been concerned about, and that's the MCAT. The MCAT has been waived for this cycle, this up, this cycle um, for 2019-2020. So the good thing about that is the people that were going to take the MCAT anytime soon, they don't have to worry about that aspect of their application at this time. Now that doesn't mean people who were not prepared whatsoever to apply the cycle suddenly apply the cycle because the thing with that is you are going to rush the people that were going to write your letters of recommendation you need to still have your grades processed your transcripts processed as yona and i have recommended before you want to make sure that when you're asking for your letters of recommendation you give you give those individuals at least a few weeks to a month so that being said, you still have time for that if you want to. I've already explained before what the benefits of applying early are. You could qualify for these scholarships because of your academics, but the later you apply, basically around this time, very likely that you won't have that benefit because those scholarships would have already been handed out to the people that applied earlier on. And then we have grades. People were worried about their pass, no pass, pass, fail courses. But their courses that are usually normally graded are now being turned into. Now, that should be okay with all the programs because they understand our circumstances, they understand your circumstances. A lot of the podiatry programs have even been considering, for now, switching to pass, no pass for our own courses. But of course, I want you to practice caution and definitely contact the programs that you're interested in and ask them. Is that something that they're considering doing, right? So some people were thinking of getting more shadowing hours in, perhaps you haven't even shadowed yet. And that was something you were thinking of doing around this time. The way to get around that is thankfully, a lot of the schools have provided um, ways to do it virtually. Ask the programs, um, call them up and ask if that's something that they're offering because that's a great opportunity even if you are thinking about applying next cycle again we don't know how long this quarantining is going to last so why not take advantage of this opportunity while you can also volunteering if you feel like you haven't gotten enough clinical hours or volunteering in you can call up different organizations i've seen online that there are alzheimer's centers or elderly care centers that would love some companionship for their for their patients right uh, for the residents um, an option would be to skype them that's something that they've offered i've seen a lot of that so that's one option for volunteering and then for clinical hours there are ways to get around that and think about that again you can ask your different podiatry programs for advice on how to do that if i haven't touched on anything that concerns you then please let me and yona know and we'll be sure to get back to you about that. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon because it'll help us to reach as many people as possible and works with the YouTube algorithm. All right, take care, Pod Squad.